Donald Trump offering new details on his plan to fight ISIS. ISIS is taking over a lot of the oil in certain areas of Iraq. And I said, you take away their wealth. You go and knock the hell out of the oil, take back the oil. We take over the oil. Which on NBC's the Meet the Press, Trump was adamant how he would do it. It's what okay. you're talking about is ground troops, okay. maybe 25,000. We're going to circle it. We're going to have so much money. A Trump military critic says not so fast. Uh, you just don't go into another country and steal their national wealth, uh, which would, in fact, be what he's, he's suggesting we do. The just-retired top Army general had issue with Trump as well. When you hear Donald Trump say, um, we should just move in with our troops and take their oil and bomb the Iraqi oil fields and take the oil away from ISIS, does anything like that even remotely have military utility? See, see there's limits to military power. And, and, and so we, we can have an outcome. But again, is it a, see, the, the problem we've had over the last, do we, do we achieve sustainable outcome? It's about sustainable outcome. So you disagree with, Donald, do. with do. Donald Trump? I do. The majority of U.S. airstrikes against oil targets have been in Syria, not Iraq. ISIS controls about 10 percent of Iraq's oil fields. How much money would a President Trump get? In 2014, Iraq earned $300 million a day in oil revenue. Now it's down to roughly $240 million a day due to falling oil prices. To suggest that we just go in and bomb the oil fields and take them over, also a violation of international law. Uh, and Mr. Trump may have a lot of lawyers in the, in the Trump Corporation, but I don't think they're going to be able to get him out of the Hague uh, when he's tried for that kind of a plan. Where does Trump get his military advice? Well, I watch the shows. 